Hey, this is Viz, Levittown Delegate to the Philadelphia Skateboarding Scene. I'm here today with Lurker Lou's least favorite skateboarder, Matt Militano. I saw Matt the other day at the UPenn campus. He flew right out of his back one on the ledge, straight to a shift at Whole Foods. <laughs> it was pretty fucking sick. Fuck yeah. Sit back and enjoy this interview with the Birdman. <laughs> Welcome back to Citywide. We're here with Slaps One in a Million. Fuck off. <laughs> Matt Militano. Off to a great start. What's good, Matt? Not much. What's up? How Not you doing, much, buddy? man. Yeah, let's get let's these. Let's get this. Yeah. I'll take one of these. Carl's got Thanks. kids to teach tomorrow, so. Oh, you don't say that. He can't you support drinking. Fucking... Carl's a I didn't teacher. Know that. No, don't put me on blast. Cheers. Wow, that's too late. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Salute. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah. What do you mean, dude? Fucking nocturnal cinnamon whiskey goes down pretty smooth. Yeah, available at Whole Foods <laughs> exclusively. How Sick. much have you guys killed of that so far? Actually, we're doing pretty good. Halfway there. Yeah, we're getting there. Like the Bon Jovi song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah white like people that. anthems. Yeah. So, Matt, where'd you grow up? Douglasville, Pennsylvania. Where the fuck is that? Yeah, where is that, dog? <laughs> like an hour outside of Philly. Mm, okay. Do you tell people that? you're from Philly when you meet them? Kind of. Traveling purposes. suburbs of Philly, yeah. I it's guess fun. it saves that explanation. Yeah, you round up when you're traveling. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. So what was it like growing up there? Describe it to us. Yeah, break it down to us. It was pretty strange. It's a middle of nowhere town. Not much really happens. Was there anything to skate? Is that where you started skating? It's where I started skating. There's nothing to skate though. No Had spots at all. How'd you get into skating? What was your first board and why? Uh, my first board was a blind board, nice. and they were playing hangman. They hung a rollerblader. Damn, so it was pretty sick board. Tied. Yeah, Jesus. I remember it. Was it a pro board or a team model? It was a team model. Nice. Just like a blind board. What made you want to start skating? Like, what gravitated you towards it? Uh, my friend Seth skated, and he kind of got me into skating when I was 12. Steinberg or shout Steinberg. out? Steinberg, nice. yeah. Shout out. He's had too many knee injuries, he can't skate anymore. Damn, that'll do it. Yeah, it's been like five. Damn, that's right. Yeah. So you grew up skating with him then? Yeah, that was the first dude that really got me into skating. We'd skate his like flat bar that was about this high. This flew Set up 1080 in the flat bar. Yeah. Nice. nice. The circle one? Mm-hmm. You could like <laughs> ride on the board slides and that was like the first Oh, wow, you hook it up to the ramp and shit and then? No, like it's just so low uh, that you can like okay. lift up. We had one of the ones where you like fit the, the flat bar into the kicker. So it's like kicker mm -hmm. flush with the... Dude, you just get worried because you like catch air off the kicker because it was pretty steep, and then you and just, just land too hard. Yeah, all the time, dude. You get earth in the fucking cold as that. Get earth. Get yeah, earth. dude. It was the worst. <laughs> so, <laughs> when did you start getting addicted to skating? Like, that's what you knew what you wanted to do, and you were skating every day. Like, what set that off? Pretty much instantly. When I, I got my first board on Christmas when I was 12 or 13. And I like grew up on this big hill, so I would always just go down the hill. Damn. So on your GX1000 shit, way early, huh? I guess so. Nice. Free wave. <laughs> Raw. Not nearly as gnarly, but... Are there Amish people out there? There is. Yeah? Damn. Not a lot where I'm from, but... Are you boys with any of them? No. You no. sketch <laughs> any horse and buggies or anything like that? <laughs> There's like not much of that, but... Damn. Well, that's chill. Go a couple hours away. Probably could have got them to build a ramp. Apparently they like build dope houses and shit. They're like mad yeah. with carpentry shit. Yeah. That, that is true. Dope. So what was one of the first skate videos you saw that, like, got your attention? The first skate video I remember watching is Plan B Questionable. Mm. Damn. How'd you get a hold of that? Uh, this kid, Ricky, that I went to high school with, I skated with him in his driveway, and he had, like, a VHS copy of it. Damn. So that was the first video. Damn. When, when you saw that, were you like, oh, I want to film? Like, I Yeah, I was like, filmed. oh, this you is were sick. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't do anything. I was just riding, but... Did you have Gotta like a friend somewhere. Yeah. that like filmed in your crew at that point? No, we just would like fuck around in our driveways and like didn't really, couldn't even do tricks, like try to kickflip for hours. So when did, when did a camera guy or a camera come into play with you and your crew and who was your crew at that point? 
Uh, like a couple years later, I started skating with Kevin Lidkey. Shout out. Yeah, shout out to Kevin. Uh, and like a bunch of people I went to high school with. This kid Leo. Oh this shit. Kid Nick yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. You probably yeah, know yeah. like half of them. I know, I know all of them. Yeah. But absolutely. yeah, like years later, we got the skate park in Amity, like in Douglasville, and we would all skate there. Prefab park, right? Mm-hmm. Mm, the classic. shittiest ground ever. Like classic. Yeah, it's really like good. classic sandy, middle of nowhere. Rusty yeah. Ground. yeah. Was it Black Rock? No. No, it's a different one. Different it's like a half hour Same from there. prefab shit though. It's like in the town that I grew up. Black Rock is way better. Yeah. yeah. Black Rock's all rusted out now though. It's still a piece of shit. Yeah. But yeah, we got this like flip cam. Like you remember those like rectangular oh, yeah. like, yeah. 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 square yeah. things? Carl used to run that heavy. Flip yeah. mode. Those yeah. things Big are sick. Thing. Yeah. We got a lot and of And we would like make videos. Damn, that's tight. And then iPhones got introduced and just started crushing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I edited our first video and damn. it was horrible. That's damn. Sick. Well, so when I was on my young YouTube shit, I came Five across, <laughs> <laughs> I came across edits of you and Kevin and all those dudes at Seth Shivo's park that was in yeah. a barn in his backyard. What was mm -hmm. that like? Like girl, just having Damn, the an indoor park yeah. to skate, That's whatever. Sick. It was amazing, yeah. I met Seth probably when I was like 15 and his dad's a carpenter and built him this amazing indoor skate park. Like he had yeah. his own TF. And we'd skate there a Every, lot. A lot, yeah. There's probably like three years where I skated there a lot. Yeah. Damn. In those three years, you probably got good as fuck. I yeah, mean, it not, helped. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it <laughs> yeah, I know I got good as fuck. Oh, yeah. You don't got to me. No, yeah. like, no fuck hurt. that. No. But, but yeah, you like you were, be, you were able to skate something that you liked every day, no matter the weather. The winter. So, like, yeah. So, yeah. And we'd go there every day. Especially on the East Coast. Yeah, why would you go anywhere else? I worked at a grocery store like three days a week, so we'd be Shout out Red Nurse. Yeah, Red Nurse. Concrete Cowboy. Fuck, man. Did you go to Borderline at all when it was in Oakland? A little bit. I went to Borderline probably three times before. But why go to business. Borderline when you have Seth Park young. right down the, the street from the house? Was yeah, great. Yeah, but I, mean, I went to it more sick, times than it was uh, that BMX park. Like I guess BMX oh, was Union. Bought it out Union, Union yeah. Ramp God. Company or some yeah. bullshit. Shout out Union. But my friend Mike, he BMX like, and I grew up like I'd skate and he Mike was G. BMX. Yeah, Mike G. I know all the Hemis. He's awesome. I went to Mad Demos at Borderline. Now that I think about it. Yeah, Port to Borderline. Was yeah, I never made it to one. I wish. Went to a bootleg one. Super one, when Antoine was on it, uh, I saw him like nolly heel next. the big. Well, they, did, ass they did the didn't they do the Baker as a Death Wish? That didn't they stop at Borderline on the Baker no, as a Death Wish tour? I think so. They stopped. They closed way before. Or way was, before or that. Was there, sure, man. there was a Death Wish tour though. They stopped at there. Was that the Super one that Antoine? was It at? might have been the Super one. Mm. If you watch that video, the tour video they do of the nolly heel, mm -hmm. Eric Ellington says he does a first try. Didn't, wasn't first try. Wasn't first try. Yeah. 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 Ellington, you're come on, Ellington. Sick. But now he was better sick. Mosca front tail slid the rail with ease. Damn. Damn. Did they have a boombox? Yeah, what was no. it? Get yeah. past that. Backpack? When Skytop was blown up. Oh, that's so, sick, like, though. New York. I love like, Mosca. Art. Yeah. Mosca. Sick. Yeah, Mosca was so one nice. of your favorite skaters growing up, though, right? <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, I loved him. Yeah. yeah. He's sick. Yeah. yeah. You do all of his tricks, dude. Front side flips, no slides. You're fucking Yeah, I'm great out. at front side flips, dude. Really rubbed off on you. So skating with all those dudes, skating with them every day, eventually you got into filming. Someone picked up a camera at some point. Yeah, Seth, filming. the kid with the skate park, had a yeah. VX, and he would film Damn. us for the most part. Dude, you could have monetized that whole shit. could have been on some barracks program yeah. years before. Pre-wave. We, Damn. like, entered this barracks contest when we were young. I forget what it was. Like oh, when United, the barracks United was cool. Nations. United Nations. Yeah. What was your crew name? Do you remember? Oh, I forgot to find fuck. this video if it still exists. I don't remember. Was it Hatch? Yeah, I don't think so. That was like an Free inside hash. joke, yeah. That's it might have been this and that. Mm, that was like a yes, video. We were going to make that promo. Like Seth yeah. was making the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Me and it. Seth. Whatever happened to it? Just got canned? Uh, it just fell off, yeah. Sponsors pulled out. <laughs> couldn't get the funds together. No sponsors, yeah. I think Seth might have been sponsored by like Volcom. Or yeah, Seth, well, I remember he was young bull getting Volcom and Etnies. He's, He's getting tan. salt for Yeah, him. he was yeah. on Fairman's like real young. Yes, that was I see him a bit now, kid, yeah. and I haven't brought out to him yet that I skated his park one time. Damn, I never made it out there, and I've never even met the bull. It sick. was really it's tall. Now. It's still there. Yeah. Our friend Billy passed away about six months ago, and we had like a memorial for him there. Damn. And like, so that's the last time I went. It was fun. That's it. Like, brought everyone together. Yeah, it's good right, you guys Billy. got the 
mm-hmm. come together over something R. so R. unfortunate. So that dude, Billy, didn't he, he died like a heroin overdose, right? Yeah, is that like a unfortunately. Big, is that like a big, shit. is that pretty popular in your small little town? Like it kids is, either, Kids it's, either move away fun. or they just get hooked on drugs. It's yeah, one or the there's, other. there's been like at least 20 to maybe 50 people that have passed away Damn. since I graduated. That, that you went to like high school with? Yeah. And like the surrounding areas, there's not shit to do, Damn. you know, like. Where I grew up is the middle of fucking nowhere. Damn, so you're mad fortunate you found skateboarding. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good thing you shot out skateboarding. All yeah, my friends that like I grew up with and shit, like when I rode to school, there would be like three kids snorting pills, like my good friends like, sitting next to me smoking cigs. Like I didn't smoke cigarettes then or anything, or like Jesus. even smoke weed. I didn't do any of that shit, but all my friends were like real fucked up. Damn. So then, filming. Uh, filming with Seth. Eventually, you started to vent, like, adventure out into Philadelphia. No, mm-hmm. what was that like? Your first time in Philly. What my was that first time like? in Philly, my parents actually took me. Damn, yeah, they're like real sick. supportive, and that's they yeah. took me to Three Block actually. Shout Dude. out Donna and Mark. My R. mom R. took Three Block. Yeah, my mom took us to Three Block too. We did that's a trip sick. like that. Yeah, it was sick. Shout out moms. Yeah, gave shout like out my block. my dad gave the homeless dude Thomas. Like we still talk about it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> like five bucks. And then about like a half hour later, he came back and he's like, hey, like I need some more money or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, we just gave you five bucks. He's like, no, nah, like I already utilized it. Oh my God. <laughs> like you, that was the word too. Yeah, I'm sure he did something Always, like that. always on really some good. shit. Like yeah. 10 years ago. So yeah. But it probably set spot. the precedence for your time in Philadelphia. Dude, that yeah. spot is yeah. fucked. Everyone would piss on like the levels, it. like of the ledges that you would skate before dude, it the three it block. Dude, it would reek. Yeah. They're rolled up for those ledges. In the summer, yeah. dude, that it was just like warm, like hot piss. It would smell like. Warm, hot, homeless piss. Dude, it was really gnarly. Horrible. You ever like try and go skate there and there's like somebody sleeping on the ledge? Like, yeah, you gotta you wake them up. You like nudge them a little bit. Like, hey, sorry man, you mind sit on that one? They always there? move. Like, they don't care. Yeah, they do. So like, don't. Yeah. Sorry, dude. What a fucking tragedy it is that we lost that spot. Now it's a temple. That's a sick field. spot. Yeah, and they're building the fucking stadium now. Yeah. It's temple like they, made. Yeah. God, I See, wish so I temple didn't made three block a fucking dime. Yeah, <laughs> fuck those guys. So you skated three block with parents went with you. Did you bring your friends that were skating with you in high school, or was it just a solo? No, yeah, I brought trip? my friends. Damn. I brought two of my friends. Did you film anything then? I tried to tray flip it for a while, and I actually broke my board, and it was a Plan B like PJ Lad board that Damn. my parents got me for Christmas. Oh no! They got me like three or four boards, and like it was in the spring. Yeah, it was like the second yeah. board or I something. And it was the only board I brought, and it was brand new. I think I might have set it up that day, and I like landed uh, in the middle of it, like so on a truck flip, so like bummed. feet like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Jesus, dude. And we actually went to Nocturnal. And oh, my shout parents out. bought me a uh, board. Yeah. I don't knock- even remember what board it was, but. Did you ever skate love when you were younger? Yeah. How was that? Any any interesting experiences there, or good times, or anything? Yeah, the I think the second time my parents brought me one time, and then my other friend Colin that skated when we were kids, his mom brought us to love, and we were skating like the volcano, like the really steep banks underground, like under City Hall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And I was trying to just drop in on it, <laughs> and it was so hard. Like I was slamming really bad, yeah, you know, God, just trying dude. to drop in on it. Falling there sucks. And it's like so three gross. bike cops came came in like really Ooh. hot, and we're like 15 years old, you know. Like the mom was like doing something, like let yeah. us like go skate around the city or whatever. And they were just like threatening to beat the shit out of me, and all my friends left me like in this like underground area Damn. with these three bike cops around Dude, me. You're and I was like 15. Right. Yeah, probably scared shit. And they were like, "We're yeah. gonna fuck you up!" Like they were being serious, Damn. like cursing yeah. at me and Philly shit. Philly cops are fucked. Yeah, man. Philly cops are really fucked. Yeah. Now I'm used to it. Yeah. But Shout out 12. Fuck, yeah, fuck 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, being 15 and these like three like big burly bike cops threatening to beat the shit out of me is just. Kind of, oh. kind of crazy. Cracking a coal with the boys. Not even phased. Big money for cars. So, skating Philly, all your friends. Oh, God. Dude. When was. More fireball. Yeah, let me get in there. Let's, uh. Let's just get right to it, man. Let's talk about the classic that was. What is that? Fully flaccid. 
Oh my god. Oh, your video. What, you still trying to sell fucking copies? Yeah. Yo, I got, I got How many copies. Boxes are at the crib? <laughs> Fullyflaccid.bigcartel.com. Oh my god. Free shipping. Bogo? Five years later, still trying to Five sell copies. Five years later. Yeah. Yo, Giorgio's parts, not on the DVD, oh, but sweet air. Yes, it's on YouTube. Yeah, you, Cheers, you, boys. He Cheers. actually forgot Giorgio, our good homie's part, in the DVD. Love you, George. Not even on the video. Fucked. Fried. Made too many so, left turns to make it right. <laughs> weird to talk about it since it's my own video but oh I yeah to, i went to the I, premiere at kinetic it was yo, cool. that, really yeah yeah Sick. when they were at uh their second location yeah. where mm -hmm. it was real large yeah real big venue that, that was, was a great night i remember started, going started, back right? to yeah yeah penny fixed it yeah. shout out penny what up penny Damn. what up penny and then there was an after party at zach gallagher 3101 spot. lost my virginity that night <laughs> that night that no way. way what an epic night bang, i don't bang. remember that happening smashed out shardy on the floor with like mad dudes just assed out of sleep all Sounds around. Sick. I think like That's Brett might have phoned his like girlfriend at the time like in the laundry room or something. Yeah, yo, it was, it was, just, like, yo, it was smash. It was smash city at three one one that night. I'm Everyone so was getting I've cheeks. Never been Damn. In house, I got no I cheeks. Yeah, yeah. RIP three one one. But I would like to think that fully flaccid. Your part in that was your breakout part or like your part that introduced you like to the skate world. No, because it was posted on. Slap mag at the mm, time, yeah. like slap, slap mag uploaded, and I think to this day it has like a hundred thousand views. Are plus. you serious? Yes. Wow. That's you get YouTube sick. money off of that? No, because it's not on my fucking YouTube. It's oh. on fucking Slap's YouTube. Oh, man. dickhead. Dude. Yeah. Probably hanging free, out by a free thread. monetize, yo. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually pretty proud of that part at the time. Yeah. You use that Tame and Palace song, right? It sounds yeah. lame to say, but no, no, it no, doesn't. Because does that probably... was like your, I feel like that was your first like. All together part, like you, all the yeah. footage you had with different filmers, no, yeah. you put it, you put it, everything that was like you filmed at the time into that part. Yeah. And it was, I think it was well received through the yeah. skateboard community. I mean, you got over 100,000 views. You got yeah. over. <sighs> Whatever that Slap means. Slap made yeah. money off of you. Yeah, yeah. that is true. Slap profited off of you. And more than one way, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sure. What I'm trying to get to is after that came out, did. It go through your mind that like, oh, I maybe want to make skateboarding, like try to like do this for real, or did companies hit you up, or what happened after that? Yeah, was that your apart? first taste of the limelight? Like, what happened? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, I think I was probably getting skate metal boards at that time, like through a rep or something. Damn. So yeah. Not even I remember that. Yeah. I remember yeah. You, there was a short sale on skate metal. Yeah. <laughs> That's. I got like one email from Brad Staben. Mm -hmm. It was in like all caps. Sounds about and he right. like told me like, oh, your skating's good, but you push weird, <laughs> something like that. Do you still have that archive? No, definitely not. Oh, yeah, I'm not be but sick. that was like the only email like I got from that guy. You know, I would like talk to someone else that worked there. Yeah. But I don't know. I Who's always like Moose, wanted right? to skate. Yeah, yeah, Moose. He I worked at Bing. Yeah. You might have talked to him. Yeah. So then, the dude that worked at Skate Metal that was hooking you up, Moose, then worked at Think. Beforehand, worked at Think. But didn't he take you with you to think? To skate metal after think went out of business. Okay, That's like so what let's, happened. We should get to think. Whoa. I think before Back that. To act. Yeah. Hey, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> how did you get hooked up with think? Oh God, this is like a pretty long story. You got yeah, enough dude. of a time, I got. Yeah. 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 All right. Time so Kevin, circle. you guys know Kevin Leakey. Shout out Kevin Leakey. Giorgio Valone. Shout out Giorgio. George. Sam Bass. Shout out Sam Bass. Yeah. All the homies. We all skated for this real shitty skate shop. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Here she comes. In Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Bentley's Shout it out. board shop. Middle of nowhere. Shout out Nate. Bentley's board shop. Fuck. <laughs> this is, Those yeah. are some interesting times, man, because I would go there. You've been there. I was there. It a actually bunch. still exists, which is I know, crazy. which is crazy. But in the I Coventry would, Mall, which is like a gigantic mall that yeah, has yeah. a total of maybe four stores oh, that are open, yeah. so it's like extinct, ah, you know, like there's nothing in there, but there's like three skate shops, but or, I mean, we, sorry, three shops, one skate shop. But I remember going, being around and going there with you, and that dude was weird, but when you grow up in a town like Douglasville, and that's the only skate shop in the town, like, you're gonna go to that. Yeah. Yeah, what are you gonna do? It was, like, five to ten minutes from my house. Yeah. Fairman's is, like, 40 minutes. Oh, jeez. And, like, I would go to Fairman's sometimes, but <clears throat> it was easy to go there. Yeah. 
The dude used to own a porn shop. Oh yeah, and a head shop. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, porn shop, then head shop, and then he opened up in like this pretty much attic area, like this real weird upstairs like corner room of this like swag shop in yeah. Town, you know? Dude, like they would just though. sell some like weird clothes, like some one-off shit, and yeah. he was like in the attic with his like skate shop. And we like found it. Sounds like a great I needed location. A board. <laughs> and like, yeah. Yeah. Me and all of, like, my friends started skating for this shit shop. Yeah, it was it was definitely really funny being around and going in there at that time, being like, "What is going on?" What made it weird? Just the fact that he was like some porn bro or something. I, I mean, mean, this dude never has ridden a skateboard yeah. in his life. He's probably never even like still stepped on a skateboard. Definitely you know? not. Like, and he's like, he's like a little skating. meatball. He's like five foot, oh big, God, huge dude, beer guy. The kind just, of dude like, that super wears creepy. a shirt that's like three sizes too small like no matter yeah. what there's like a muffin top just popping uh, out of his like belt buckle like have, there's like, just the his stomach that's all hairy and like, like sweaty and it's just hanging sick. out you yeah. know and he would like hire no like shame. teen girls no to shame. like hit on them it was he was a fucking creep so eventually like cool dude. this dude who owned bentley's he like found his way into the roller derby industry or whatever. Like, he would go to roller derby matches because, you know, he's a fucking creep. He's yeah. going to a porn store. Like, Scouting would scout these chicks something. out. Like, oh, they're all in yoga pants, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so pretty dirty. heinous, man. It's fucked. But, yeah, so he took this skate shop and he made it, like, a collaboration with roller derby. So it was, like, That's skating it. and then, like, the little roller derby section of, like, tie-dye tights and like cheetah print tights and like Fuck skate guy. bearings like hey man now he's got girls hey you ever see that girl that uh though. does extreme roller derby she like rides for bone swiss or some oh, shit just like a yeah back or some shit. that That's chick crazy. Crazy. did the, the clip the little clip yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i saw that shit she it's not like, like mini ramps yeah yeah, yeah it's mm-hmm. pretty gnarly That's pretty badass so it wasn't like that though it's like roll like you go on a roller rink and you like yeah, like whale on people. Yeah, like, that I shit's guess pretty so. aggressive. But there's like all these yeah. weird rules you have to like can't push people. I don't know. It's like weird. You can like nudge them, but you can't like grab. Actually, them. I think you know more about it because I think you went, went oh, to like a roller derby yeah. match. Yeah, huh? yo, With real, Dave real ill sick and, uh, side note. So David Chinsky, side note. <laughs> David Chinsky and Cody Mack were in town doing. Oh my god. Something I forget what, but it was for that shop. It was for Think. It was for Think, and it was for that shop. And they, like, only carry Think boards, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that Nate dude who was doing roller derby shit <laughs> was like, yo, like, after this thing, like, you guys should come to this roller derby demo. Like, it'll be really sick. Like, you guys will love it. And those dudes were totally about it. So I went with them. With Leo, right? With Leo's Leo. the homie. Oh, I went with dude. them to this, like, we, he actually they, he was works like, there still. He was like, dude, it's it's right down the street. He like, works there still. 30 minutes, like 30, 40 minutes later from right down the street, we're in the middle of the woods, pops up this big, like, open, weird, like... Wait, put the cap back on before you put the shit in the bag. Sports dude. thing. Like, fucking, Excuse like, weird, me? like, roller derby rink. And these fucking girls were, like, so psyched that there was, like, someone there, like, watching them and, like, they happened to be, like, two pro skaters. And we oh, took yeah. pictures with all of them. They're on the internet somewhere. Oh, and they God. gave me, like, these, pictures. they gave me these beer pretty koozies funny. or whatever. Dude, Should it make was that your tight. LinkedIn profile or something. Yo, true. I mean, there was, like, mad at them. You got a LinkedIn? I do, actually. Nice. Follow so, me at LinkedIn. You on LinkedIn, Matt? No. No? Dude, Sean, you you're on there. there. You're linked oh, out. Yeah, I'm yeah, on there. I'm, I'm in there. I have I'm no big business on LinkedIn. No. with LinkedIn. She get on there. I should. So you hung around Bentley's. They only had think boards. Did you send your tape? <laughs> they had other boards, prominently think boards, amongst other things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then they just talked to the rep. Did you meet this dude? Was it DJ? I know a DJ that used yeah. to work for. Yeah, it was DJ. Street corner. And he would like give me a lot of shit. Like it was the yeah, whole. Really? Dude, you would get, like like get Hubble wheels yeah, and venture, venture trucks. Hubba. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, lucky was bearings. Very yeah, like lucky bearings and hardware. Like I would just Whoa. be able to like set up a complete. And they board would have in a the box. one green and a die in it. And it was like a lot of boards too. too. It, was, it was in that like nice. sick golden era when you were. They used to call it factory flow. Remember when you yeah, used to be like yeah. factory flow? Oh, yeah. Now it's just flow or like team manager flow or rep flow or whatever. But I remember we used to call it factory flow and like there was a distribution you would get something from everything in yeah. that distribution. It saves the like, shipping costs. Yeah, yeah. send cool. you as much shit. So you're getting think boards. Did you like Hubble Wheels? I mean, they worked for me. 
Yeah, yeah you're young. You're like, just like, yo, it's got naked chicks on it. Yeah, it's advertising. And you now I feel like all these thing graphics are just like, who the fuck cares? It like says thing. I like the one. But back then I was like, sick. This is a free board. Like. Did you ever skate any of the Hubbo graphic group that they made? I dude, I skated one, and it was like, I think we might have like filmed something at Bam's skate park. Yeah. Like, and it was shout like, Bam. yeah, shout out Bam, but it was like, this girl and just like her ass yeah. cheeks. It was ridiculous. yeah, I do remember Damn. that. Yeah, you would never catch me with that grip. Dude, I think now, I saw you at X Park with that grip tape. Maybe you did. Yeah. Honestly, I I think it was you. Or Seriously? Park. Yeah, that I probably did. happened. I, dude. I swear, I think it was you because I think I had seen like. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry. Dude, I had seen, like, I don't know if it was before we met or not, but either way, I, I definitely remember. The first time I remember meeting you was at the place I live at now, which is strange. Oh, yeah, we bought your, uh, our friend Isaac bought it. Was it your lens or was it Kevin's lens? Uh, it was my lens. I used to film BX2100 and, like, modded in MK1. Mm, skate perception. I used to try that. to film. Wait, did you have an account on Skate Perception? No. What about Slap? No. Did you ever read the forums when the Slap one in a million was popping off? Okay. No, I didn't. Too soon, too soon, too soon, too soon. So you were getting think boards, getting footage, like doing the whole thing, and I remember you went out Trying. there. Trying. <laughs> remember you went out there and you stayed with the TM and filmer Justin for a while, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. How was that Stayed like? at Double Rock. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, really? you did. Yeah. Like yeah that's sick. Yeah. It was dope. You I remember like one time I was day. in my pajamas like going to take a piss in the bathroom because there, there's like the bunks here and then there's the bathroom. And, Name like, drop, who like, walked by? Felper. Yo. And he's like, who do you ride for, man? Like what the, and I was like, oh, I, I like skate for think and they told me to come out here. So I'm like here staying. And the dude Redder that like films the double rock stuff is really cool. He's just like chain smoking weed the whole time. Like chain smoking weed? <laughs> literally though, like this dude just smokes flips like all day long. Damn. But like Felper just talks shit to me. He's like, nah, why the fuck are you here? And like, Damn. like did like a big Seems kick like a turn. Cool and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Went back the, to my bunk and like probably slept. Damn, that's funny as shit. Yeah, it was cool though to go out there. So you film, film with Justin while you were out there, film some blips. I don't even think we filmed anything. Damn. I ended up filming with this like dude that I met that films VX. I went skating with the guys like two days, you know? Cause uh, I was just there. Yeah. And, like they were on their own shit. They weren't gonna like go out for like a session solely to film me. I was just like tagging along. Mm. So eventually, Think went under. Mm -hmm. What did you do after that? What was that like? That was because that was. Were you on when they went under? Mm -hmm. You know. Damn. Or I was just like getting bitter, flow man. Yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Damn. Because <laughs> that was. I feel like that was one of the first companies that of many to follow that hit the wave of, oh shit, we're going out of business. Yeah. So the, at that time, yeah. there was like only a handful of board companies and they all looked like they were killing it, my young eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I mean, what, that makes sense. What was, what was that like seeing like a company that you went out, you hung out with the dudes, like you got their boards all the time to like go out of business, like how did that feel? I was like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> did you just move know. on right to the next thing? Did it even phase you? You were just like, oh yeah, that sucks. And then I right just, on thought like oh that's shitty mm. i don't know and the guy like the rep that was giving me boards i think i got like a box or two from the team manager josh robertson he's really cool we actually stayed with him in sf like last year i still talk to him a oh, little that's bit so yeah, cool. yeah he's dope connections are heavy mm -hmm. he like works for kodak now and like damn, travels the world like that's so sick. and just shoots film like that's, that's his job he's like he pushes scale. the film thing and he just shoots film himself and that's all he does. That's tight. They send him to a place, he shoots photos. They like post him or whatever. But so yeah. I feel like this happened either while you were on Think or maybe right after Think. But how did one in a million come into play? My name is Matt Montana. I'm 18 years old and I'm from Douglasville, Pennsylvania, which is in the middle of nowhere. I like the crappy spots I have because like when I go to really good spots, it's so much more fun than like being spoiled with a bunch of good spots. I like creativity in skateboarding. Just like people being different, but like not too waggy. That was like probably a year or two after, but yeah. I like sent my video in. The elephant. So this was <laughs> this was after the Forrest Edwards year. 
right after the next and week. that's when it, like it blew up and you were like damn that shit was sick i was like oh this is cool i don't know yeah. i like watched it and thought it was sick really? i thought like john fitzgerald was the sickest yeah he really fucking is and it was like interesting to watch and i think <laughs> what's the guy's name that was part of it before that would do all like the one in a millions he had like uh, a really mark good Wheatley? idea oh, mark, mark Wheatley? Wheatley? Yeah, yeah he was the editor of it was Slap. cool you know Wyatt. like they just went and skated yeah or mike yeah mike mark Wheatley. Wheatley. yeah mm-hmm. Wheatley. yeah it fucking dude that's and then it, it took like a heavy turn. Yeah, yeah. that shit was yeah. crazy. Well, I had no idea what I was getting. Like they didn't explain anything. I read somewhere that the Alex Klein guy that wrote for City Skateboards was the yeah that yeah. was the dude, Dungeon. and it was he got so in crazy. He was in charge of doing it. Yeah, yeah. because that dude like kind of ripped, and like you would watch his old part. So one in a million. So one in a million. Anyway, yeah. Uh, what was it like walking into your first day at one in a million? Were you like? psyched everyone was cool or was like a weird like vibe going on the first day was pretty sick because it was just like oh here's a fucking zero board there's like a stack of them this tall were there only zero boards available and we just skated you know like the first day was chill yeah and then it got to like some weird shit what everyone (laughs) saw yeah but they told us like halfway through the first day you know like tomorrow is going to be this and then like Oh, they let you know what was going on? So that you knew what was going like, on. The day of. Like, um, I didn't know. Like, if they told me, oh, there's going to be all this shit, I wouldn't have, like, signed up to the yeah. game, you know? It, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. Yeah. yeah. So know, everyone man. knows the classic, what happened, and you can't fucking ollie. Hi, ollie yeah. contest. Yeah, like, I can ollie like shit. this high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are so, you going to do? Yeah, I know, yeah. So <laughs> they fucking made you out to look like some shit. But at the end of the day, after that fucking thing sunk, everything was said and done, you were like still somehow the fucking, the star of it though, even though you got kicked off first. At least in my opinion. Outside of of you being my friend, like everyone was like, oh damn, like Matt killed it that day. He's not going to get eliminated. And then some like weird thing happened. Yeah. And then everyone was like, why did this dude get eliminated? Like, he fucking killed it. Like, it was like, some dumb shit. It was dude. kind of a blessing, though, honestly. Yeah, so what was that? Yeah, so what was, like, like the aftermath of so that? So the aftermath life? was, the first night it was weird, because it was, like, they, like, sent me out this door, and, like, I think Lurker Lou, like, walked me out of this door, and, like, that was it, you know? Like, I was yeah. all Breaks your board, too, right? And, like, that dude Don't was the to. shit. That guy Blue was, board that camera. guy, oh, Lurker Lou is, like, the coolest fucking dude. They made him out to be such a dickhead, but yeah, every night, sucks. he, he would chill with us. Shit. We'd get, like, 20 bucks a day for a DM, I think, like... Damn, in New York? That's and we would just all give it to Lurker Lou to shit. get us weed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, whoever smoked weed, and then every night, we'd, like, have a circle in the back, and, like, we'd all just smoke, smoke weed. It was nice, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was cool. Yeah, He's a good dude. I like So... When and you got home from one in a million, like what was that like? Was like your was shit fun. blowing up? We should probably talk about one in a million more though, because you want to talk more about one in a million. A go little off, bit, dude, because it's pretty interesting. So, yeah, yeah, go yeah. Off. Tell us who else was on that year. Uh, Nate Rojas. Nate Rojas. Uh, uh, Alex Khan. Mike, Kennedy Cantrell. Oh, that kid is sick. That Kennedy kid. Alex really and Kennedy good. are like this shit. I yeah. really love them. They're like guys. a Mikey They're kid. Mikey, what was his last Mikey name? Mikey Haywood. Mikey Haywood. I don't see him around in Long Beach. There's years. the ill dude with the ill switch style. It's probably Alex Khan. Oh, that is Alex Khan. Who's yeah, the bull with the glasses that was like kind of nerdy? Adam Simone. That, that kid is so fucking, fucking sick, good. Dude. Yeah. He's Holy amazing. Shit. He's good. He skates yeah. to that North one Cat on your nicotine song. That part saw is Gangsta so Cry. good. That, yeah. was that part Cat is amazing. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Was, I forget his name. John. Anyway, so the first night when they kicked me off for this high ollie oh. contest or yeah. whatever, they literally exiled me. Like, this is when the House of Vans had a bowl upstairs. Uh-huh. Like, they had this yeah, big yeah, concrete yeah. bowl upstairs. And, like, the bottom was the skate park. But they were like, yeah, uh, can you sleep up there just so tomorrow morning, like, when we're in here getting shots of like the dude sleeping, like you can't you you're you're gone you know <laughs> you're supposed to be gone so can you like sleep up there on the bowl? And I was like yeah sure like whatever. <laughs> Damn. So you still got to stay that whole week. Yeah. Yeah. Then you ended up you just ended up filming with like the Fibro guys. Yeah. Why everyone so else would do shit, right? It was randomly they would like send you off and you would like go in the Fibro van if you get kicked off. So I was like the first one and just like went skating. With the Fibro guys. Sounds way cooler than being a part of that fucking show. Yeah, it was. I think the next day they had to, like, draw their own pro board graphic on, like, a big piece of paper. That shit was so bad. So I'm glad I didn't have to do that, but... 
So you getting home for one in a million, like what was that? Like was your phone blowing up? Like were people like, what the fuck? Instagram like, wasn't around. Was Instagram around? So. No, Instagram it's wasn't around. Then. So it was 2010. Yeah. Yeah. Think, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. That. Oh my god. That no. was. No. That was a long time. No, ago. That was 2012. 12? Yeah, that was slap on oh, 2012. Right. That's still. Was I graduated oh. high school in like 2012, so I think okay. it was like Jeez. right then. Yeah, that's crazy. That's still a long time ago. Dream chasing, man. Tell me about it. Nah, you man. Tell, tell us about, about, it. about it. You're the oh, one that okay. moved to California. So you, you California, moved. man. You go to the skateboard mecca, man. Like, how was that shit? <laughs> yeah. When did you fucking move to Cali, bro? When I was 19. Damn. Wow. Young bull. Damn. Chung bull. So this was right after one a million. You were like, damn, I'm hot right now. <laughs> yeah. I need to make these moves while I can. Cause yeah. Jesus, I don't know if it was all that. I, mean, I was I like, oh, it's warm there. <laughs> it's definitely not I warm there. I guess some of that, yeah. but... They give you money for being a one in a million? Mm-hmm. Nothing. Okay. So Other than per diem. Some per diem. So you okay. moved out. Free beer the whole time. Oh, uh, yeah. That was cool. Yeah. She moved to Cali. Who'd yep. you move there with? What was your living situation like there? Uh, I live with Nick Zizzo, Patrick Franklin. Yeah, P. Franks. P. Franks. Blake Carpenter, Damn. Joey Regali. Yo, Damn. star-studded Can cast. you pick up all those names you just dropped? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by pick up? <laughs> those are my boys that I live with. No, I know. I'm fucking with you. So, did you guys all lived in one place? How big was the place? Had three bedrooms. Jeez. Pat, Joey, and Blake were in the living room. Damn. And Nick had a room, I had a room, and... David Stasel, uh, the Steve Stasel. Steak. David filmed Stasel. a bunch of Florida videos. Yeah. Word. This is yeah. Yeah. I think he filmed like half of Richie Jackson's new part, which is surprising. I haven't Damn, seen him in sick. a while. Interesting. Yeah. Good for him. Hope they got paid from that. So what was what was living in California like? Just being able to just go skate every day? Or were you like parts? psyched? Yeah. yeah, what was your deal? You were Long there? Beach, right? So I mean, yeah, I saved up like a lot of money from working when I was a kid. So I like skated for a year and just didn't have a job. Damn, that was that's cool. crazy. Wow, yeah. That must have been awesome. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah. It's a different lifestyle out there, yeah. it sounds like. Yeah, for sure. Way different than here. LB? Yeah. I mean, compared to Philly. Fuck yeah. yeah. So what was True. it like? Break like give us like a a rundown of how long were you out there for? Four years total. Yeah, give us a rundown. What was it like? It was cool. I mean, I just skate skated a lot. Who'd Had you, a bunch of different jobs. Who did you skate with like throughout all your times? Like, who did you film with? Did you work on anything? Oh, uh, when I first moved there, I filmed with the homie we lived with, Steak, David Stasel. Mm -hmm. We would like all go skate with him. Pretty sure it's Stasel. Stasel. It's pronounced Stasel. <laughs> yeah, I filmed with him at first and was just skating a lot. And then I got a job at this pizza place. I moved to L.A. after that, and mm -hmm. then I had to get a job, like, from all the money I saved. It was pretty sick, too, because it was Tony Carr, that dude Nick Zizzo that I lived with, and John Goman, and this other dude that made pizza. That didn't skate. He was oh, like you guys all worked old. together. And it was, all, yeah, all of Damn, us. Damn, that's so What was the name of the spot the you guys worked at? Hollywood Pizza. Damn, shout yeah. out Hollywood Pizza. Thanks yeah, for Yeah, it was uh, in Hollywood. Hollywood. I don't know. Yeah. We all moved to East LA. How many, how many celebrities did you see on a daily basis doing pizza? I didn't see any celebrities. Yeah, that's really? right. Like, Hollywood the Pizza? There? No. Jeez. I got pranked, though. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the I wanted to bring that up, but. The infamous pillow fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that whole clip is not. That right. happened. Were you like, damn, about to smash these two shorties? No, I, yeah. I got pretty skeptical halfway <laughs> in. Run us through what happened. What is this? People might not have, maybe have, haven't seen this clip before. Yeah, what I don't happened? know. So, if you don't know, there is a viral prank clip on the internet featuring Matt as a pizza delivery boy. Hi. 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 So, Hi. Um, okay. Um, um, can you hold that? Uh, do you want to come in for a second? Sure. Can you just, can you just set it down for me? Who, he actually was. <laughs> yeah, I was literally delivering And pizzas. they were filming these two girls that were pretty much naked. They weren't naked, they were like Scantily in. clad. Yeah, Alright, so there like, was like four girls and then I delivered the pizza and they were like, Hey, can you, can you judge our asses? Or like, judge our butts and let us know what's the best butt. They literally all line up like in thongs and I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, they're all nice. Like, yeah. you know, I didn't have an answer. I was like, this is <laughs> all, all, ten, all tens. Yeah. Like, that's what I said. Hollywood. Yeah. It was yeah. sick. And then they're like, oh, you want to have a pillow fight? 
California, like filming and skating every day, how would you perceive East Coast footage like back home when it came out? Do you think it was sicker since you were in someplace different, or were you like, oh no, nah, like I'm in like the skateboarding capital? Like no, definitely whatever. not. Anytime I saw a video come out from the East Coast, I was like way more stoked on that. Yeah, and it sick. like made me want to skate. I think California is pretty boring, like in terms of like aesthetics or how like the footage looks. You're over it. I mean, I. I was over it. Yeah, so that's why you. It's a nice place to live and stuff. That's not like. Eventually, you got wild. fried on it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. What like? I mean, you were there. You said you were there for four years. What? Yeah. Kind of inspired your your homecoming, so to speak. What was the like? When were you just over it? Like when was it like? When were you I mean, done, I, when were you done dream tracing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not really what it was. No, but <laughs> I know. I don't know. I lived there for four years. I had my own room for probably three of the years, and then, like, maybe a little bit less than a year, I was sleeping on the couch of, like, all my friends lived in this apartment in Long Beach. Mm. Jeez. And, yeah, I was sleeping on the couch, paying, like, 100 bucks a month for rent. That's not a bad deal, though. No, it was cool. I would get a job, work for, like, three or four months, save up enough money to not have a job, and then skate. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, but I was over like it. living that life, you know. I don't want to like do that. It's funny. Some people go to college for four years, and you went to LA for four years and got an education <laughs> in these motherfucking streets. Dog. Yeah, a little different. I don't think it really <laughs> pay, doesn't pay off in the long run. But hey, hey I'm man. here now. No, I, th- I don't. I mean, dude, so many people wish they had done shit like that. It was yeah. cool. It was an yeah, experience. It's, you like, got to it's do so some, cool, dude. Yeah, you got to do something that not that many people do. Yeah, they yeah. get to do. And that's cool as shit, I think. I mean, it was fun. Yeah. Like, so okay, what you brought you home? I don't know. I kind of got over it. Long Beach kind of felt like a straight line of doing the same thing every day. Go to going Cherry to Cherry Park. Park. Yeah. Literally, like, yeah, go to Cherry Park in the morning. So good. Trying to leave, go to a spot. Oh, I have the spot to skate. But, like, 10 of your other homies have a spot to skate. Mm. And it's mm. just, I don't know. And you it's moves, hard. You move go back to Hollywood to High, been laser healed. I don't know. I like do? skating in Philly way more than I do in Long Beach. Damn. Seems like they got it made out there. They have so much dope shit, but I've never been, so I don't know. It's all right. I think, in my personal experience, I think LA is cool to do like a like a visit, a couple weeks, you know, do the winter escape. Yeah. But I couldn't imagine myself like living there. Yeah. Fucking yeah. Drive. Yeah. I mean, traffic, traffic sucks out there. It's Shout real out bad. It's you think it's bad here? It's pretty bad. It's yeah. real bad there. Philly se- traffic. Se- I said six times though, like so. ten. Yeah. Well, they have like the six, like the six lane. Like, I mean, the still, thing about Philly is yeah. like every spot you want to skate is in like a ten mile radius, no matter what. In yeah. Philly, there's a lot of shit to skate lines. in Philly. Yeah, Philly is ten square miles. So. <laughs> that facial expression. Oh, I thought you meant like everything you want to skate in Philly is within ten miles from each other. I was like, mm. oh. no, I mean, I mean like, close. like it's all the spots easy. are in yeah, a total a of a ten mile radius. Yeah, yeah. 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 When you people think LA, track. they're like, oh, one city, but there's like. Dude, it's fucking 30 fucking All the spots cities. are spread out, you yeah. know? Yeah. You want to go yeah, skate a over yeah. here. It's far as shit. Damn. Yeah. It was cool, though. So, move yeah, back. Man. You met... You found a shoddy out there, though, right? Yeah. You met a shoddy? Mm-hmm. Nice. And then you moved back here with said shoddy. Yeah. Oh, got all, shit. Got all bunkered up. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I live here up. with my girlfriend now. It's Damn. been, like, a year in Philly. Nice. Congratulations, my guy. Oh, so, thanks, man. We're glad to have you uh, back on the East Coast. Cheers. Man. Yeah, I'll drink to that. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I like being here. Yeah, let's get out of here. East Coast one. <laughs> I do like Philly significantly better than LA. Yeah, man. And I wish I didn't move because Love Park's gone. RIP. But hey. Pour, pour out I LP. So, back in Philly. What brought Back I mean, in Philly. Back in Philly. Is this the first time you've actually lived in the city of Philadelphia? Yeah. Is that nice? Mm-hmm. So where are you living at? What part of the city are you living at? Uh, near Center City. True. Pretty close. Yeah, it's not a bad spot to be at. Spring Garden alumni, dude. Yeah, yeah I used yeah. to be there, man. There have been fucking 
pretty a lot of skateboarders have lived. I in hear. That Are you in that building? Yeah. Supposedly Does Fred Gall lived there back Steve in the Crane? day. Steve Crane. Have yeah. no He's idea. In projects. Yeah. Steve Crane. He's part of the, the projects. Steve Crane. The projects. good homie. Yeah. 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 Shout out Steve. It looks like Mr. Burns a lot. That dude is fried. He came to a party we had one time because the cops got called. Yeah, he was. I think two us. months now. It's been a year, but two of the months we haven't paid rent. He's had no idea. He's not going to hear this either, so it doesn't Sean's matter. the one who put me onto that. He's like, yeah. he lived in the same building. Genius. Yeah, He's I didn't like, pay rent for like a couple months and nothing happened. <laughs> and I got two security deposits back. So There's no <laughs> utilities. It's extremely yeah. cheap. Yeah, it was fucked. Holy yeah. fuck. I don't know how he does it. Damn. So, yeah, so sh- anybody that wants to move to Philly. Yeah, we can in close walk location. Spring Garden. That's yeah. where I live, guys. We can get you set up. Then send us your money over. <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll get you hooked up with a spot, no worries. Thanks, guys, for that. Yeah. So, how's it been living in Philly for you? It's good, I love it. Nice. I do. Skating downtown a lot, I see. Mm-hmm. You were trying to skate more, more other shit than downtown, but still skating downtown a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you moved back to Philly. What are you doing here? What are you doing for work? What are you ch- like? What's what's good? What are you doing? I work at Whole Foods. Shout out Whole Foods. Damn, shout, shout out, out Whole Foods. Yo, send us a box. That check got up it. since Amazon bought that Just shirt. kidding, that shit kind of sucks, but it's all right. Ooh, what are, what are some, uh, what are some secrets of Whole Foods? Secrets. Yeah, what's secrets good? Put us on to the game. Yeah. Some things that people think is real, but it's really not. Yeah, what, what See, are the people See, there's supposed to be now? a company that, like, gives back, you know, but they throw out so much food. They're Damn, throwing out fried. food left and right. <laughs> Pretty much the workers starve unless you like want to sneak it, like a sandwich, make yourself a sandwich, and like go eat it in the back. Damn, or, like right. the way manager works, like you, you don't even eat for free. We're about yeah. to make that stock unless price you like plummet, know dog. the ins and outs of that shit. Like, <sighs> what are the ins and outs, man? Fill us in. The right manager. Yeah, uh, it's a good homie, Paul. Oh, Damn, shout, shout out, out Paul. Paul. Shout, shout out, out Paul. Paul. Keeping our boy fed. Yeah, he's hooking us up with a lot of food, but yeah, for the yeah. most part, he my, boy, my boy, my boy stuff, needs to eat too, dude. Too much at him. Both scrawny as shit. So ninety pounds wet. Easy. Hey man, add like 50 and we're there. I bet. But yeah, that's Whole Foods. It kind of sucks. It's cool though. Gets hey you man. by. Do you get stocks? No. That's fried. Ooh. Get health insurance. Oh, well, nice. health insurance is cool. Hey. Shout yeah. out health insurance. Shout, Shout out health, health insurance. insurance. Yeah, go it. to the doctor if you're Probably sick. need that. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Do yeah. it. It's all right. So what are you what are you what have you been working on since you've been back? What's been going on with you? Yeah, what's new in the world of Matt Militano? <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't you know. Filming just, a bunch? Yeah, filming a lot. What are you working to towards? Skate. What's going on? Alright, uh filming my homie Zach. Shout out Zach. Shout out Zach. Snails. Yeah, he's like the best dude in skate. Uh, he's he filming VX, he's making a video that should come out in the next month or two. Nice. Filming Damn, with you put Chris Mulhern on. a lot. And uh the homie Nick. And there's a Fairman's video coming oh, out too. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's more. Nice. Fairman's. So that's why Fairman's they're Fairman's four. four? Yeah. It's the fourth wow. video they made. Four. Huh. Classic. I think Neil's going to be like a big part in making it. And he's going to like strip Shout in old Neil. footage. Shout Another out Neil. Another fully placid alumni. Yeah. 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 Shout out Neil. He's going to like strip in old footage of Maldonado and Carrie Gates. That would be sick. And Bam. Shout out, oh, yeah. Shout out right. Bam. Shout Come out on, all Fairman. my boys right now. Yeah, yeah. Fairman's video oh, not me. I mean, Bam's probably the only one that still rides for Fairman's technically. Technically. He's yeah. back, baby. Yeah, he, he is back, back like he never back. left. Dude. He went to a documentary last night about Bam, and it was amazing. Definitely later. Yeah, you saw that yeah. shit? Damn, that's Peter sick. Odell was there. I was like, yo. Peter? Patrick? Tell, Patrick? Us, more, tell us more about Peter. <laughs> yeah, let's see. It's Peter. Uh, who's this Peter guy you talking about? Son of a bitch. Yeah, Patrick O'Dell was Yeah, there. shout out Patrick O'Dell. Peter. Yeah, shout out Patrick. <laughs> shout out Peter. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out Peter. Strictly gang <laughs> shit. Yeah, doesn't that bull live in Philly now? He lives yeah. in Fishtown. Really? And his wife uh, runs Urban Outfitters. Why does he live in that's Philly? Cool. Because Urban's the Urban based. Outfitters oh, Urban's headquarters based in Philly. is in yeah. Philly. My good homie Caleb, who skates really well, but he, his job is to like model for Urban. Damn, I need he's that always coming yeah, Yo, that yeah. Urban, holler at your boy. Yeah, I'll do this shit for the low. This, uh, angle I don't need like any of your whack ass gear. I got my own, but. Your own whack ass gear? I got my own whack ass gear, as you can see, but. I can see. <laughs> we really out here, though. Trust me, I can see. Trust me. Yeah, Trust. Urban's looking to sponsor this podcast. We'll, uh,. We'll work something out. I think they'll invest. Yeah. They probably got some bills. Uh, yeah. Facts. I could probably throw some dough. So Fairman's 4, you got like a full par for that thing? Yeah, what's the, when's that the thing next on, thing? That thing's ready to go? Yeah. 
Damn. Not ready to go yet. Where are we going to see the next Matt Militano part? What's good with that? I don't know. I think probably Zach's video True. will be the next one. Damn, we're going to get... Ben Fairman's. We're going to get two Matt parts this Damn. year? Damn. I guess so. You sitting yeah, on a good amount of be. footage? You've been productive There's another one in California, years. too, that's been filmed, but oh. who knows when it's going to come out. Who's got that? Who's sitting on uh, that? My good friend Darian. Oh, um, Darian, yo. Drop the shit. Bless us, Darian. Good bless us, Darian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Darian. The good homie Darian needs to bless. What's but he just got footage? a job at Death Wish, and he's been, like, real into that Whoa. shit. But he's been sitting on a lot of footage, and hopefully he'll put it out Damn, soon. Damn, come sick. off. Yeah. You had some shit in those, uh, those deep fried videos, right? Yeah. That footage in that? Had, like, a part in that last video. That's sick. Not I'm the new one, though. Those are all, like, my really good friends. I'm assuming... Yeah, the California footage was always sick. You skated shit that... Yeah, I didn't you like you never cool say LA you skated show. like I'm cool LA spots. Or you like would go to an LA spot that was like blown out, but do like skate it completely different. Yeah, you have like Jay Kwan cool. footage that looks cool, and that spot <laughs> yeah. is fucking. I don't cool. know about that, man. I don't know if any of that looks cool. But Dude, that spot like I don't want to see some like gnarly ass tech it's shit. Fun, there. I want to see spot. like you. I remember you like filmed the line there and you like strung some shit together and it looked fucking cool. I like when people yeah. skate the whole thing and then take it to the rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like marathon shit. shit. That yeah. shit looks yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. B-Dugs. B-Dugs. Yeah, some Yo, marathon shout out there. B-Dugs. We should probably try that and get that, that dude on the show. That, that, dude is that would be cool. Hashtag. Hashtag B-Dugs. Yeah. yeah. That He's a sick. legend. He actually lived in Long Beach and yeah. we would skate a good amount. See yeah. him around. Another transplant back to Philly. And now I see him in Philly. Damn, well. Same with Kevin. It's pretty sick. Damn, bud. Cannot wait to see Fairman's 4. Cannot wait to see Zach's video. Darian, need that. Drop the <laughs> part. Put it out. Bless yeah. us. Bless yeah. Send bless us the people. footage. We'll edit it. We'll figure it out. Get Hi, the shit bud. out there. Fucking thanks for coming, man. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for fucking cheers. Thanks for having that. me. Yeah. Uh, I fucking just sunned you on the, the cheers, my bad. You brunt me. Yeah. We out. You look over here, and we tell you that you're on a hidden prank show. Am I really? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Karenbreak.com. That's crazy. <laughs> probably the sickest thing that's happened to me while delivering. <laughs>